in terms of diet, right? Like what would you say would be like an 80, 20 for someone just starting out? Mm. What, what would you recommend in terms of just them eating to get started, uh, you know, in, in their diet? Yeah, well, most people have to get leaner, I'd say, especially if you're talking to people that are like 22 and up. Most people have to get leaner. They're sitting at 16, 17% body fat, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, the people that are very lean that have a trouble gaining weight is more of a very small subset. And I honestly think they're lucky. I'm like, you can literally eat tons of food and that, that's your issue. You can't eat enough food. Yeah. Get some spicy <laughs> rigatoni and call exactly. it a day. Yeah, exactly. Um, so for those people that want to get lean and want to optimize for fat loss, I recommend a few things. One, I recommend doing a fast every day. When you're eating five meals a day, those meals have to be small to stay in a calorie deficit, unless you're lifting or training three hours a day. You're not gonna be able to eat very satisfying meals, okay? Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a big appetite. So I recommend doing a fast every day. We're actually primed to fast. Wake up, drink some water. After about an hour, hour and a half, you can have a cup of black coffee. You can have you know two, three cups of black coffee. You can use my pre-workout Kino Octane, which is amazing for energy, amazing on the fastest state. And then you get this five hour fasting period where you have amazing focus. When you're not eating first thing in the morning, you're not even eating every two to three hours, you actually reach this state where you feel really dialed in. I get my best work done on a fasted state. Digestion and eating can actually um, take away from that state. So, um, so that's the first thing, okay? Um, you know, you trigger that sympathetic nervous system where you're alert, focused, energetic. Contrarily, if you eat a massive meal, you enter the parasympathetic nervous system where you just feel like, relax like if you eat a massive meal you just want to sit down and freaking watch a You're movie sleepy, like and i and i used to do that back when i was mm -hmm. i was bulking and trying to gain weight I'd, I'd eat a big meal and then i couldn't work the rest of the day man yeah so i find when you cut strategically you get amazing work productivity so you get a five hour fast i will you know your first meal can be a bit smaller you might have some eggs yep. a little bit of fruit english muffin etc 600 calories or so for the average male and then you'll basically have this big dinner feast with you know, 14 ounces of lean meat. Potatoes are actually one of the most filling foods in the world. So potatoes are very satiating. If you want to get lean, mm -hmm. um, basing a lot of your carbs off potatoes will keep you more satisfied. So like lean meats, some broccoli, potatoes, it's a big feast, butter. You do not want to shy away. You don't want to cut out carbs or fats. You, both, you need those both for testosterone um, output. And then, uh, you know, as far as oils and butter, like using butter, coconut oil, olive oil is great. You want to kind of avoid using the seed oils. Yep. Um, and then the last calories, usually the late night snack, I'll have, you know, a Magnum ice cream bar, a chocolate almond bar, cookies, 400 or 500 calories of whatever I want. And I've, every single time I've cut down to my leanest condition, 6%, I literally ate chocolate every single night. Wow. Every night without fail. And What's funny is that when I was like, you know, maybe I'll eat some healthy late night snack. I just still have cravings. And then I would probably a couple times a week, I just end up going over my calories. When I finish with chocolate, I'm satisfied. I'm cooked. That's it. And I am, I have an easy time cutting. 100%. It just yeah. comes down to what you're saying. Keep things simple, right? I think that's why yeah. that's what prevents a lot of people from getting started, which is why I asked you like 80, 20, right? Which is mm -hmm. for you, it's just fasting, you know, having those simple meals, and then having that that you know low calorie dessert at the end and, and really just staying consistent with that. Yeah, there's really only two levers you need to worry about in fitness that you need to pull. So the first lever for getting lean is being in a calorie deficit. Now that also means you can't go too extreme in a deficit or you'll lose muscle and you'll set yourself up for binge eating and you gotta make sure you get enough protein and mm -hmm. eat you know, balanced healthy food. But if you pull that full first lever and you're in a deficit, you're gonna get leaner. Now the second lever is actually strength gain. If you get stronger on your shoulder presses, weighted chin-ups, incline press, Bulgarian split squats, Romanian deadlifts, those are my five key lifts that you that all my clients progress on every month. Incline press, overhead press, weighted chin-up, Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift. And so if you get stronger on these different movements and you're in a small calorie deficit, getting enough protein, eating balanced food, fitting a little bit of chocolate, if you do those, you will transform. Um, and so, you can lift weights twice a week, but if you get stronger those movements and you're in deficit, you're gonna get harder, you're gonna get, you're gonna slice off fat, you're gonna look more chiseled, look more proportionate. And so most experts in fitness have not identified the levers. They don't know how to actually transform people. Hmm. They go way too complicated. And so I went down to like, you know, one of my influences early on was Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. um, who was actually freaking a genius. Um, he created Jeet Kune Do, and, and he was one of the early people to basically create mixed martial arts because 
At that time, martial arts were very stylized. You did Wing Chun Kung Fu, or you did boxing, or you did fencing, or you did jiu-jitsu, and it was like, my art is better than your art. It was a, there was an ego, okay? And he was like, I just want to become, he was a pragmatist. I want to become the best martial artist ever, which meant learning from boxing, learning from fencing, learning from jiu-jitsu, and sort of piecing it together and finding the way to become the best martial artist. Um, and his, one of his big, like, his big thesis was like, simplicity is brilliance. Most people in martial arts complicate things. And when it comes down to real life combat, it's the person that has practiced one kick a thousand times, not the person that has practiced a thousand different kicks. It's becoming hyper efficient. And so in fitness, I really got caught up in, in learning all these different things and just kind of realizing that everyone overcomplicates this. To really transform, we got to do these two things. Now, how do we create the deficit? We want to make it as enjoyable as possible because the real problem with fitness is not that people do not know how to get in shape. The real problem with fitness is that people can't stick to it, okay? Yep. That's the, the biggest issue we're facing in fitness is behavioral change. How do you actually get someone to follow a system? And even me, who's passionate about fitness, give me any workout program, I can do it, okay? Now, I gravitate to training, to lifting two or three days a week because that's where I get my best results. Mm -hmm. But give me any routine, I like working out, I can do it. Um, but give me any diet, I will fail on them all. I failed on every single diet I tried, whether it was eating small meals every few hours, e eating clean, going keto, going low carb, do even doing the paleo, which is pretty, pretty bit more balanced. I failed on it all, or I did the paleo, but because I wasn't that satisfied, I'd end up eating so much extra calories, which I mean, I didn't get lean. So I actually had to create the strategy that allowed me to get lean that I could stick to. And that's yep. it. That's literally it. And so um, that is what I'm solving. I'm showing everyday people how to build movie star worthy body, and I'm solving for staying in a deficit, I'm solving for achieving progressive overload, and I'm solving for actually sticking to it, and that's why we have the best transformations in the world. That's amazing. Again, keep it simple, right? You know yeah. what works, you know what's easy to stick to, and that's that's all you preach, exactly. the basics. Exactly, and there are little nuanced complications when you're cutting to 8% body fat, and you gotta take it back off, period, and eat maintenance, then you gotta cut again, and all this stuff, but like as a whole, like it's actually very, very simple. Yep. Um, Absolutely.